All right, guys, we're going to break down Mark's snatch here. The I'm, Generally, I break down the whole snatch, but we're just going to break down a particular piece of the snatch here. Um, so we're this was a workout where I was an EMOM. Um, I think it was 10 lifts for 10 minutes at the same weight, I believe. So um, we're going to see him set up here. Not too bad. So this is where we're going to start seeing the, the issue. And... This is the problem, is that it's an issue, but we don't really see the consequences of the issue in this particular case. I think this is a relatively light weight for Mark, so we don't really see it pop up, but I think in later, when it gets heavier, um, we could definitely see some issues here. So what we're going to see is, I like his head right now. His, his gaze is straight ahead. You're going to notice that Mayan is as well in my bottom position, so if we get back to right about where he is, we're right here, right? We're kind of both looking slightly above neutral. So now we're just gonna go up to the top of the pool. So now what you're gonna start seeing is that his head is starting to come up really high, All right? So now he's looking up here. Now let's kind of go to that hip position, that pockets position, you're gonna notice, where am I at? I'm kind of in the same basic position, right? We're both kind of looking up. Now this is where it gets a little um, a little different is now when we're getting to that full extended work that full extension look how far back he is so he's not overextended which is surprising but his head is vertical like looking straight up his head is really far back and then when I come through and get through that same position you're going to notice that my head is not vertical or I'm, I'm still looking in essentially the same spot that I was before I still have that full extension. Now, the reason that this can be, become an issue is that if our head is that far back, generally speaking, what we have that we get into this overextension and we end up bumping the bar out. So now the bar path, instead of being straight up, it'll start coming out. So it'll go in, oops, all right, that bar path will come into the hip, will come into the hip and then out and around. And then, so one of two things happens. One, we catch forward, which he does when he does catch it, or it goes real, like it, like slingshots, pendulums back and we miss it backwards. So now we come up, so it's not, he's not like pulling it into his hip too bad. It looks pretty straight. Um, Not too bad at all. It's not getting out too far in front of him. He's keeping it close, but that head is just really far back. And I think at different weights, different loadings, this can really become an issue. Um, and then the other thing I would say, kind of, this, this is really minor, but in that catch position, he has really long arms. Like if you look at his arms compared to Mayan, like he has really long arms. So he was probably good at sports, I mean, not so much. And I'd like to see those hands out a little bit. And then if you look really closely, if you look really closely, whoa, you see he still has that hook grip in. And um, when we're overhead, I'd probably limit that, that hook grip. So bring those hands out just a little bit and bring, uh, bring that hook grip off. It's just not, it's not needed overhead. And then you're gonna see that he catches it a little bit forward and it just has a step to get underneath of it. So overall, like I said, the, the that head position didn't affect him in this particular lift, but I think that's something that um, in other lifts and heavier lifts, that can definitely become an issue down the road. We, we tend to overextend and we bump that bar out, that bar path is too far out. I just think this is a lightweight lighter weight for him so we don't see that issue so again so again um get back here we go so that head just kind of stays just slightly above neutral we're not linking it back we're not looking at the ceiling when we're doing that all right hope that helps
another tool in the toolbox. Cheers, guys.